Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Residents are starting to return to their homes after a brush fire that came dangerously close. This after lifting orders from residents of some 200 homes to evacuate. Good morning, I'm Christina Salvo. And I'm John Gregory, and firefighters should get a bit of a relief from the weather today. Let's check in with meteorologist Jonathan Novak for the latest on conditions. Yeah, a little bit of cloud cover at the coast that we're in the middle of coming up in that full seven-day forecast in a few. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Well, residents are starting to return to their homes this morning after that brush fire that came very close. The fire broke out yesterday near Avocado Place in Crescent Drive and forced the evacuation of close to 200 homes. Eyewitness News reporter Q McCray is live in Monrovia with more what authorities are saying about this fire. Q. Uh, good morning, John and Q McCray, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Q, thank you. Well, police are investigating a deputy involved shooting in Southgate that left one man injured. Investigators say the shooting took place last night along the 9600 block of South Atlantic Avenue. The extent of the suspect's injury is not known at this time. Sheriff's deputies are offering no details. We'll continue to update you as we do learn more information. Well, starting today, thousands of air traffic controllers are being furloughed because of government spending cuts, and that's raising concern at some of the nation's busiest airports like LAX that we could see delays. There will be fewer air traffic controllers on the job to handle arrivals and departures for the next five months. Federal officials estimate maximum delays at LAX could reach 67 minutes. Across the board, spending cuts approved by Congress have forced the FAA to trim $637 million from its budget. Well, there's some new information in the Christopher Dorner investigation. Newly released transcripts from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department show deputies did not fire a single shot during the final two hours of the standoff with Dorner. The transcripts show deputies were told not to fire unless they saw the fugitive ex-cop. Authorities tried using tear gas to flush him out of that cabin near Big Bear, but when that didn't work, seven canisters of incendiary tear gas were used. The standoff came to a fiery and deadly end with Dorner shooting himself in the head. As Boston gets ready to begin a new work week, memorials and vigils are vivid reminders of the chaos the city has had to deal with over the past few days. ABC's Tamon Bradley is live in Boston this morning with more on the investigation of the two suspects. Tamon. John and Christina. Uh, the other big question, Taman, is whether or not Jahar Zanayev should be treated as an enemy combatant. How would that be different than a civilian trial? Yeah, it's, it's pretty significant. All right. Well, thank you so much for that live report. Taman Bradley live in Boston for us. Meanwhile, tight security today in London for their marathon. It's the first major race since the Boston Marathon attack. Before the race got started, the runners, many wearing black armbands, took part in a moment of silence. And race organizers plan to donate money to a fund for those injured in Boston. The men's race was won by an Ethiopian and the women's champ from Kenya. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the investigation into the Boston Marathon bombings. Look for more reports tonight from Alex Michelson here on Eyewitness News. And you can always get updates anytime at our website, abc7.com. Uh, coming up, this week's cool kid with a cool invention, the special eyewear that's helping people with hearing deficiencies. And a UFC competitor fights once, but twice, and wins twice what he did after his match that's grabbing headlines. For Winkler's off today, we have Jonathan in for us. Some sunshine already behind us. We can yeah, see. Look at that. That's Breaking nice. That's through. downtown. Yeah, we had a hot day yesterday, but uh, cooling off. Or? Yeah, we're on, we're on sort of like a slope like that. It's very technical. We <laughs> do this. It's the, we learn hand But motions. we get it. We get that. It's part of Welcome back. This is the view, if you can call it that, from Long <laughs> Beach, uh, where they're going to have the Grand Prix this morning. Uh, very socked in with a very thick fog. We're hoping that burns off eventually. Uh, meteorologist Jonathan Novak's watching, and he'll be updating us on those conditions for us. Good thing the race is later in the afternoon, yeah, hopefully once that all clears out. only looks like, you know, 30 feet. Yeah. Well, how much pain will some women endure in the name of fashion? Well, if it comes to high heels, I can speak a lot. personal experience <laughs> a lot because they look so good. You do have great heels. <laughs> uh, but Eyewitness News reporter Lori Corbin uh, shows us a local pain specialist who offers up some non-surgical op options and advice on how to get some real relief. I have a spasm in my lower. So I'm guessing the doctor wouldn't approve of this. And you put up with it. You, you, you handle it pretty good. So but I sit. Yeah. That's, that's my compromise. Yeah. I just walk in the studio with them. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me 20 I'll years. I'll pay for it later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the next half hour, the race for L.A. Mayor heating up. 
who just picked up a major endorsement from President Clinton. And the babies are doing just fine. And you do see clusters like that in certain communities uh, where they have Strange a bunch of twins. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Well, a rare moment took place at a UFC event. Yeah, a fighter successfully defended his title, but he wasn't done yet. I'm not perfect. I never have been. But you make me happier every single day, more than any man had the right to be. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes! <laughs> That's lightweight champ Benson Henderson proposing to his girlfriend. She did say yes, as you can see. The proposal was approved by several parties, including the UFC president and the girlfriend's dad. It's always important to get the dad's yeah. approval. <laughs> so he takes down the guy and then gets the girl. Who's going to argue with him? <laughs> exactly. She put him in a chokehold. <laughs> yeah. right after. We'll see you uh, at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock.